Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video, you golf life legends. We are down here at the home of Golf Life Fox Hills, and we've been joined by YouTube Big Dog. Big Dog. <laughs> Royal <laughs> Oh, here we Max go. Fox, how are we, mate? Hello, Pete. Yeah, very excited. Very excited to be here. It's the We're in October now, so it's probably the last round of golf I'll play yeah. for six months. But uh, it's excited to. Uh, I saw you at the pro am. Oh mate, it was great, wasn't it? And I was in the group behind you, and you've probably used the clip of you sinking the putt on that par three. I was. I thought just like you just chipped in from about forty yards. The roar from that crowd. I thought, bloody hell, what's Pete done? That is the highlight of my career. It was. Uh, yeah. And then you hit him with the bird celebration. That was. That was unfortunate. But no, it was great to be here. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna play a nine hole match. Yeah. Uh, you're playing off eighteen. Yeah. I'm off sixteen. Okay. So you're gonna get two shots. That's kind. And we're gonna have a really good chat about your amazing career. Okay, is it just match play? Uh, match play, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Happy days. Lovely. Let's go. Golf life. It's the only life we know. I've got to say, Max, those wheels are unbelievable. Yeah, they are. Something else. Unbelievable. The left laces are undone here. There you go. On there. Look at them. So I do, I do go right to left with the fade, so I'm going to aim this just over this tree on the right. <laughs> Let's just get it in play to start. I've got two shots on, Pete. Here we go. I'm, hang on. I'm not hanging around. <laughs> He's not hanging around. Yeah, sorry, 18. <laughs> 18, you say? It's on the green, isn't it? <laughs> it's an absolute zinger burger. Oh, oh yes. yeah, hold that pose. Hold it. <laughs> Crest of the hill, God. bouncing down. Come on, Thanks the golf. For That's golf. The Here first go. shot is what it's all about. Come on. Come what's your, what's your, what, what are you most dangerous with, Pete? My putter. Oh yeah? My, yeah, my putting is probably the strongest. The flat stick? Probably the strongest part of my game. What about you? Uh, I'll say my driver. Driver? Yeah. As you've just demonstrated. Yeah, I think so. You've probably got 90 from here. I've actually got... It says 104 to it's the middle. It's downhill though. Yeah, I think this thing works it out. <laughs> I think this thing works it out, I think. Yeah. Right, 104. What's the weakest part of your game? Putting. Is it? Yeah. Putting is, is not my strong suit. Drive for dough, putt for show. Oh, it's good. Oh, <laughs> wow. I tell you what. Here he comes. He's got a bird shower first <laughs> off. What's happening? Can I take my two shots now on the back nine, please? That's outrageous. That sounded like a proper golf shot. It did. A bit like one as well. It's quite wet. Downhill lie. This has got chunk written all over it. So just head down, follow through. I'm wearing white trousers, so I probably hope I don't. Um, so I think probably aim right of the green. I don't want to be a hero here, just don't want to get it in the uh, on the beach. Oh god, this I don't I don't this is this has got disaster written all over it in terms of a lie. Okay. Just just make contact, follow through. Sit down. Not great, not great. Not great, but it's not that bad. Little chip on. Gotta do better than that. Crikey. It's Chris over here. It's Max's friend. He's just playing along with us. So you might see a, a golf war or two on the green as well. We're that not, is tough, We're not that. faking shots. Come on, Chris. You're being introduced, Come Chris. On. No pressure. Come on. We'll get this one on. Little, here we go. <laughs> i tell you what. <laughs> got to get this I mean I'm, I'm just got to assume that Pete's gonna get down in two here so I've got to get up and down so this has got to be pretty good I let myself down with that second chip shot after putting myself in a nice nice position so let's let's get this close <laughs> oh hang on why'd you do that Oh, right. I've got to 
One, two, three. I'm here for four. I'll put the pressure on. Oh no. He's giving it a run. Oh, Jesus. I'd like to see that, sir. I bet absolutely you would. But A little tea time teaser, they call it. To go. The hole. <laughs> to go one up. Oh! Real. Side door! <laughs> Rim Rimmer, who's got the keys to a bimmer? Oh. One up, one up. <laughs> One up, started all right here, started all right. Uh, forgot to mention that the uh, two shot holes are 14 and 17. Okay. We are on the back nine, obviously. Long par three here, this is your bogey hole apparently. Uh, yeah, I can't. What do you normally do? Cry. Right, yeah, yeah. fine. Um, <laughs> Nothing like starting a bit of positive mental action. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, look, I'm gonna do the Laura Davies, Dame Laura Davies tip. I'm just gonna take a soft hybrid and try to instead of trying to get a six iron or a five iron. You're getting all sorts of tips from DLD. Oh, it's a bit unfair. What a legend she is. Really? Oh, legend. Unreal. Good golfer. Oh, proper funny as well. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. Get out of that bunker. Oh, oh you take that. I'm taking that all day long. All day. That was nice, that. I probably should take the hybrid, but let's just give it give it a go. I was told by Ange, better to go short than long on this hole. So let's aim it right and try and sling it back in. Oh, it's gone. It started right, but it's gone way too right. You're all right though. It opens up there, Max. You got it, Ange? You'll be good. Got it. You'll be good. Just buy that silver birch, mate. Not great, but fine. You'll be good. Not too bad of a position here. Not too it's bad. It's all right. It's an all right lie. The grandstand, the spectators have, 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 have patted down the grass for me. So let's just get it over this hump, trickle down. I just need to put it close. I need to, I feel like I've given Pete too much, too much like time here. He's not be under pressure. So if I can get up and down here for a three, we'll be looking good. Kick left. Yeah, here we go. Mr. Max Fosh. Great shot. Mr. Max Fosh. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Go on, the boy. So I've got the wedgie blinker. I'm just going to. Get rolling. Ooh. Oh. It's a putting competition. Bit of bone on that, mate. I'm not sure how much juice to give it, but I think we've got to go for the front door. Okay. Oh, oh. unlucky, mate. Low side. This for the hole. I think he's got it in him as well. Oh, he's left it short. Yeah, that's good. It's good. One up. Still this one is up. gonna be a spicy game, I can feel it. <laughs> Max, once again, thanks for joining us on Golf Life. Yeah, Trying to get you on for a while yeah. now. It's buzzing that you're here. Yeah. Um, how did your golfing career start? Golfing career start when, I'm, like, surprisingly, I was about four or five years old. So I picked up a club pretty early. Yeah. Uh, my dad used to be a professional sportsman. He used to be a cricketer. So he was, uh, when I was growing up, it was all sports. Yeah. Um, and he took me down to a, a little pitch and putt. Um, and I just, just loved it. You just always just hit you. I used to get the little balls that, that um, had holes. It was plastic. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. The, the indoor training balls and just like smack them around the house. Um, and uh, I've, I have to say, I've, I play, I'm not a member of a club, so I play probably five or six times a year, summer, yeah. and then and then I stopped. So I haven't really got any better for, for 15 years. But. And football as well? Yeah. 
Love you're, football. You're not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Insert clip here. Um, yeah, I'm all, I'm okay. I'm fine. Um, I think to be fair, in in the in the match that I played recently with the sidemen, there was a lot of Americans playing yeah. who do not know how to kick a ball. Uh, the ones we were playing with, anyway. Um, Good at sobbing people's necks, aren't you? Sorry. Good at sobbing people's necks yeah, at football yeah. games. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what um, a video that was, by the way. So uh, it was, it was, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not too bad. I'm left-footed, so I used to play left back. Um, I never, I've, I played in the sixth eleven at school. Six eleven. <laughs> six six 11. eleven. Yeah, yeah. The Harrow School six eleven. <laughs> big up, you guys. Yeah, They've never up, heard boy. big up before. <laughs> So I'm like, bloody good game, boys. Um, but yeah, no, I've been playing a bit, but yeah. not as. Um, I tell you what, uh, I saw Pete. Uh, we were playing a. Um, there was a video that Chris MD was doing where you had a hundred shots. You tried to, hit, and, yeah. and the best goal got some it's money. Four or five grand. Four or five so, grand, yeah. and, and I was on after Pete, and I turned up. You just kind of dolphin it up. Just here we go, top. Bins. I was absolutely blowing though. You were so to do, was, good. I've only got one trick, but no, it was it was good. But what was that side men match like? That that was looked phenomenal. It was it like. It's kind of, when I was watching YouTube and starting YouTube, I always looked at the charity matches because back in the day when they used to do it at the Valley at Charlton, I thought that's what I really like. If I could do anything as a, as a, yeah. like in my YouTube career, it's playing one of those matches. And it just so happened that the year that they asked me was when they did it at, at the London Stadium. And it was, it is the dream country for anybody yeah. because the only other way as a non professional sportsman when you get to play in front of that many people is that soccer aid. Yeah. But, they just they they put it together sixty thousand people. It was and I scored. I, I I had a Nuno reverse moment that was kind of went everywhere, and so it was genuinely the perfect day. Great um, goal as well, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was, that, it was. Yeah, it was some goal. It, yeah, because I was playing centre back, and any time there was a corner, I was like, right, I'm, I'm going to go up. <laughs> and I realised that no one on the pitch was good enough to get a headed goal in direct off a corner. So I kind of stood on the back of the uh, of of the D, saw the saw the ball roll out, and just went. Absolutely right, wasn't yeah. it? And <laughs> the game at the knee slide. <laughs> game with the big ends. Why not? And I, to be fair, the pitch, obviously, you can imagine, the pitch at West Ham is absolutely immaculate. And yeah. beforehand, I went to the ground staff, I was like, is this, is this artificial? He was like, no, mate. He was like, pick it up, taste it. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I think you had me on there, to be fair. So I was chewing grass to make sure the, the turf was real, but it was. But it's so, what you don't know is that it's really dewy. Yeah. Even though it was yeah, like 32 yeah. degrees, it was slick, slippery. Um, and uh, yeah, such a such an honour to play. I mean, I, 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 they, if they do it next year, I'd love to play, but it doesn't matter because I've, I've had them earn. Absolutely. And here at Golf Life, we are absolutely massive fans of your YouTube channel. So I want to get something kind. to you later about yeah. talking about that because yeah. it is genius. Right, one up. Here we go. Uh, right, this is Fox It's Hills. a thin one, this piece. This, oh, I mean, but look at it though. Fox Hills is some place. I know we're members here and we're biased, but that is unbelievable, Jeff. Right, here we go. One up. Great game. Great fit. First time he's got the big stick out. Just great fun. Oh, yes, please. Is it? Don't go in that bunker. Did it go in the bunker? I don't know. Let's have a look now. Okay. Pete's put one in position alpha. I've got the big stick out, just just feather it down there. It's 356. So hopefully I can get a 998 iron in. What a great golf shot. What there a great go. golf shot. Nice and smooth, picking it up. Max Fosch with an absolute bosh. What a <laughs> shot. Love it. Okay. 150 in. 150. Eight iron. Great drive. Yeah, this is you just gotta back it up though. Got to back it up. Okay. Come on. It's a nice smooth strike. Oh, it'll work out all right. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, not bad, mate. That works out all right, mate. Uh, that works all right. Uh, grumble. <laughs> Soft nine. Yeah, always ta take it off. So good golf, isn't it? It's great. Even when it pisses you off. Yeah. It's easy to say golf is great when you're one up, though, to be fair. <laughs> oh, it's a bit lefty loose. Still. Is that green? Yes, yeah, dancing. Dance floor? Yeah. Dancing. Green and red. Come on, Pete. Again, this is, I've got to put this close. Again, got to put pressure on Pete. 
It's going right to left once it's on the green. Just needs to release a little bit. And we're happy days. Sit down. It's actually done the opposite thing of what I said I was going to do, but it's all right. In or out? Uh, in, please, mate. In. It's got to get there. Ooh. It's got to get there. Ooh. Halfway house. <laughs> Fancy a sausage Half roll. <laughs> Halfway house, indeed. Right, I think it's. Oh, yeah, it's my. It's my. It's my. You, yeah? Oh, Pete. Out, sir. Yes, please. I don't know what this is doing. I think it's, it's going right to left. I'm thinking I'll aim at Scott's shoes. Let's sink this. Justin raise it. Ryder cut. Fine. That's all good. Right. So five. This is for the hole as well. Oh God, I mean, I'm, I'm playing to handicap. I've, I've, I've three over after three, but sometimes you're playing with a gent who's just a bit too good. You've got the two shots to come though. It's yeah, going to be close. Yeah. It's going to be close. Skirted by drive by hello. <laughs> drive by hello. It is one up. Nice, no, still one What's up. What's a game? It's not the. F oh, was that going thick stuff there? That it's not the finest. I hit the floor, but I'll take it. Nice angle in for second shot. Yeah, it should be all right, you know. Right to left, dog leg. I do normally fade it slash slice it, so hopefully this should work out all right. Don't try and hit it too hard. Head down. That's a great really shot. Really doesn't muck around, does he? He doesn't muck around. He absolutely zings it down the middle as well. Can't stand it. Great. <laughs> you can't stand it. Chris is, I can't stand it. <laughs> With golf, it's why, this is where I struggle when it's on a yeah. downward line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... Because they a rich beam on the course here. Exactly. They're trying, they encourage you to play more right, but I just feel... I think... I think don't listen to them. No. <laughs> You be you. Those nasty people. On the course. No. Oh, Pete's got an eight iron here. Difficult lie. Oh, that's me. Can you put it in place? Come oh, round. It's, it's, it's slinging back round. I think he'll take that. I think nice. I will take that. Come on. What a beautiful game. Golf's a beautiful Bullyfield game. Opportunity here to put it close. I haven't hit a good iron off of the fairway just yet. This is the opportunity. Max. Be the number. Max. Oh, oh it's a bit short. I've, oh, it's a bit Danny You're DeVito, that. <laughs> a bit Danny DeVito indeed. But I'll tell you what, the ball striking. That was, that. yeah, that was Sounded that absolutely was pure, that. sexual. Oh, it's good weight. Oh, it's good. It's a runner, though, Max. Okay. If I can Voltage. get up and down here. Mr. Max Fosh. Oh, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> This is still awesome. Got to, still got to finish it though. This is awesome. Forget your KSI the box office fights. Yeah. Get this on box Get office. <laughs> 1999 on the zone. <laughs> oh, oh, 
<laughs> that is oh. unfortunate. I thought that was sink. Okay. Max Fosh, to get it to all square. Come on. It's the right edge. I've just got to tell myself I'm going to sink this. It's all you need to think. PMA, positive mental attitude. <laughs> oh, oh just let me uh, in. <laughs> let me in. Ding dong, who's that? I was Pete. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. Max, uh, your YouTube channel is absolutely magmotional, as Declan Rice would say. It's, it's so, so <laughs> magmotional. Um, how did it all begin? Started 2017, so a long time ago, six years ago. I was, at, I was at Newcastle University and interviewing people on nights out. I kind of thought, because I was, I was like, what do I want to watch? And so I just started making some, some content of me, just like asking 19 year olds who were on a night out kind of stupid questions and then that slowly morphed over like two or three years and then I started doing longer like storytelling stuff and I then developed this like style of silliness and and I just I've always loved doing stupid things like what happens if you do blank yeah. and so the channel then just evolved in the opportunity just to do those things and just get paid for it so it was just an absolute uh, blessing um, but there's a lot of work that goes goes into it I've got a, I've got a little team now which is nice yeah. And there's a lot of structure with it comes with the videos. Often it's like, oh, how do you how do you come up with the ideas? And the main answer is just it's just contrast. So like with all the comedy, it's it's like subverting expectations and misdirection. So the videos I've done like serving roadkill to food experts. So it's like right, roadkill. No one wants to. No one's dust. It's disgusting. It's gross. But what about if we turn it into something magnificent? Um, we did a did a video where I cast uh, uh, porn stars in my short films just to act. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to see how good they were at acting, and they were great. Yeah. Um, my, my girlfriend did suggest that she was th there on the filming day. Yeah, I bet she did. I bet she did. <laughs> um, but like, it's 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 just great, and I get opportunities. We have like writing days with comedy writers that come in. And That's interesting. Yeah, so we just so, have days where we just sit there and just talk rubbish for it for the whole day. But some of them are just brilliant, just like elephant in the room. Yeah, you that, spent twenty four hours because it's an obviously a well known saying. Yeah. But you spent twenty four hours with an elephant in a room. It's That's you the, just I, have to watch it. Yeah, it's you know what I mean. It's like so the it's, one when you took the frozen meal. To the whole, <laughs> I cook a frozen meal. Boys and girls, you need volcano. to check this YouTube channel. You probably have because you've got like what, two and a half million subscribers. But if you haven't, the link is down below. But yeah, the, the volcano, the volcano talked to me. Yeah, so we, uh, there was, there's, I, I take a lot of inspiration. A lot of people tell me in the comments, there's these Australian comedy duo called Hamish and Andy. And they like are a lot of like my inspiration for a lot of my videos. And sometimes I just, just steal them. <laughs> um, and they, they cooked a lasagna in a volcano. And I kind of thought it'd be great if I could do uh, uh, an oven ready meal or, um, uh, and I, the volcano we had in mind was one in Iceland. It was like, it'd be great if I cooked an Iceland meal in, in, a, in a volcano in Iceland. And he spent two and a half years waiting for this volcano to erupt. It erupted. It was literally like, get here right now. I jumped on the plane, hiked up, and it was, it was perfect. Got the heat protective suit on. And I realised when I was putting down this korma that I bought from Iceland, <laughs> the guide who we were with, we were like, what are you going to cook it on? It was like, the plastic is going to melt. And I was like, so then we fashioned, we got a, an empty can of uh, monster energy drink, yeah. cut it down the seams, prized it open, so it's like in aluminium like baking tray, yeah. pulled the korma on there, stuck it on the lava, 30 seconds later, scrammed it. It was great. Were you so buzzing? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that, was, that was a moment where I thought this, uh, although there was, a, there was a distinct uh, like worry of death because we were probably about 200 yards from the crater, which was just spewing, wow. spewing lava out. Um, but no, I was, I was so, so happy when we got that, when we got that in the video. Absolutely. And you're all over the news, weren't you? Uh, about the, uh, the, the airport. The Welcome to Luton. <laughs> yeah. I wrote Welcome to Luton next to Gatwick Airport. Um, that was fun. That was, that was, that was probably the, the, the video that I'm most proud of because a lot of the times when you're thinking about pranks or stunts, there's, off, there's often a victim. Yeah. And so with a joke, there's always a, a victim somehow. Yeah. But with that video, it was just good, clean fun. Yeah. There was nobody was like getting offended. There was nobody who was being punched down upon. And I remember Jeremy Vine, he spoke speaking about it on his kind of like daily debate show on Channel 5. And he had the guests on whose job it is to, to debate and to argue and to get 
telly out of it. And he said, well, don't you think this is like very irresponsible because pilots could come in to land and they might think they've landed at the wrong airport, people have heart attacks. And everybody on the panel whose job it is to be there to argue, they're like, oh, shut up, Jeremy. It's no, just, this it's, is it's really, just a bit of fun. really good fun. It's just a bit of fun. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it was that was one of those videos. But that was scary, that video, because we, we made sign we spent three grand on this sign, made it, and all we had at the end of that was just a sign in a field. We had no idea what it looked like. Yeah. So I had to, I had to make sure that it, it, it looked good from the air. So I took a flight from, from Heathrow to Gatwick. On Skyscanner, I put <laughs> depart Heathrow to Gatwick. <laughs> and the only one that was available was via Amsterdam Airport. And uh, I, uh, I, I landed into, into, into Gatwick and I went to the electronic gates and said, seek assistance. I went to the, the person, they stamped my passport, they're like, where have you come from? I said, oh, Heathrow. Yeah. And I'm like, what? What, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, and I said, well, no, a couple of miles up the road, uh, yeah. I've written Welcome to Luton, and she'd obviously heard about it. And she went, oh, is that you? And I said, yeah. She said, oh, you naughty boy, and then just stamped my passport and just let me go through. That's absolutely <laughs> so nice. it was but, a, it was a fun The moment. videos are so, like, they're, they're genius ideas. How much planning goes into, a, you know, one video? A lot. Like, sometimes there are videos that, like the Iceland one, yeah. where it's totally dependent on something yeah. else or somebody else but saying like yes. The bodybuilding one and stuff like that. Do you, do you think, right, I've got to look into that? Because the way you looked into it is that actually I can. Then do you have to sort of like... Yeah, so we're, we're, we've, got, we've got a document of about 400 ideas and any given time, there's probably 15 or 20 that are either up in the air, in the works, and they might never happen, but they are a possibility. So we've got a one currently where I'm trying to convince a billionaire to put me in their will. So we just sent out like 200 emails and like a pitch deck to, to various to various billionaires and like that might never happen that video might never happen but off the, on the off chance in six months down the line suddenly someone gets an email like oh that's a bit of a laugh yeah go on then we're yeah. ready to go and we've, 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 we've got one so um, they do take a long time at the bodybuilding one I was kind of having a bit of a browse and I just kind of thought hold on a second here. there's nothing that says that I can't enter because they, nobody would obviously enter like PCA Mr. Universe without training. <laughs> and so you're thought, just walking around with the tan, with the tan. <laughs> well, because in the in there, like behind it, when they get the fake tan on, they don't wear any clothes. So I just walked in, and they all take steroids. And I'm not going to tell you the side effects of taking steroids, but I think we can all we can all imagine yeah. what it is. Yeah. So just walking in was just like suddenly I was in an acorn forest. <laughs> um, and I was like, hello, lad. And I thought oh, I'm not dropping my kegs here, boys. So I just kind of rolled them up, and the woman was like, Are you sure? I was like, yeah. Yeah, go on. Um, go so on. Just walking around, there's all those meat. And you're just there. With the <laughs> and then I won. I won most unique physique awards. So it's a pretty unique physique, I'd say. I've got the trophy in my bedroom. So professional bodybuilder here. <laughs> 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 when you're doing, trying to try to learn all the moves, they've got and all that. so many poses. It's, it's kind of like a, it's like just quite camp as well. It's like, <laughs> um, but I'm I'm a big fan of bodybuilders. I mean, do you know what they are so dedicated? Oh, big time. And they they give it's a proper fish in a rice cake kind of stuff. Um, and they spend years, and then the prize that is like monetarily, they obviously do it for the love of it, but yeah. the prize monetarily isn't huge. I think I think you won about a thousand pounds if you won your event. And there are hundreds of people who yeah. who have entered, um, and the amount of time you spend in the gym and the sacrifice. I mean, I was very impressed with the with the dedication to, to getting absolutely <laughs> ripped. <laughs> Brilliant, mate. Absolutely love you. Your YouTube channel is fantastic. Please check it out if you haven't. Right, one up. Absolutely loving this. Uh, Max has a shot on this hole. It's par five, though. Par five, mate, yeah. Oh, that, I, I genuinely couldn't put it down there wow. with your hand any better. Stay. You'll be all right. You will be all right. It opens up a little bit. You're good. Right, Max, what's the uh, plan of action here, my friend? Plan of action, just, I don't have it. I've got my shot, so I'm, it's, I'm annoyed I'm using it in this scenario, but it means that I would have hit comparatively monster drive. Let's get it on the fairway. Bit of a, a, a chance and run. How much, how much, how much great um, fairway have I got to work with, Ange? You've probably got about 80 yards to run out left. Okay. Here we go. Go. Yeah. That'll do you. That's out. 
Well played, mate. Mm, just. Right, here on this beautiful 14th at Fox Hills, there's a big ditch that goes at the front of that near the green. So I'm just going to be a bit of a wuss and just lay it up. Oh no, you absolute turnip. Oh, it stopped. That's fine. It's, it's fine, down, yeah. Down the fairway. Oh, it was an awful golf shot, wasn't it? it was, yeah. It sounded, <laughs> sounded mouldy. <laughs> So it's 2.30 two behind me. I've got bail out left because that's where I, I leak it with this with this hybrid. So I think I just got to get it over that ditch. And just give it some beans, to be fair. Oh, straight over the Mitra ditch. Shot, mate. Oh, I got lucky there. Shot, mate. No. That's fine. Wouldn't say there's much luck about that. That's fine. That's fine. That's... I'm there for three net two. That's decent. Here we go. Oh, it's a good day to be a Callaway. Oh, that's lovely. In the dappled sunshine. Makes me so happy. The old sunshine over there has put it in position A. Eh? Difficult lie, but just don't go in the bunker. Wow, absolutely wow. <laughs> Vamos! <laughs> oh, just clean the club. Bish bash fosh. Max has just hit an unbelievable goal shot. Uh, he's got a shot on this hole, so I think ideally. It has to be a five for me, or this to get sunk. Go! Oh, oh the <sighs> good shot! Thank you, sir. As you can see, I'm not very good at marking stuff. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess. But you can't put a marker there because you're going over it, so I thought I'd do that. <laughs> but it'd be more did acceptable you... for you to chop a tree down and lay it down and put the marty ball at the end of the tree. Did you just say, what a mess? Yeah. <laughs> what a mess. What are you doing there? Right. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> you don't know which direction you put your club. It yeah, can you be anywhere I know, that's one thing I did do. You put it back like that, and then I'm there. Yeah, but what have you put the well, Where have you aimed that there? though? You oh, can, you can turn okay. that 20 degrees and you'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I don't cheat. Just think, yeah, actually, do you know what? That, that's a better <laughs> one. Yeah, she was just there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Again, I've got to sink a putt. I've got to win a hole off my own bat rather than peak messing up. Oh. Oh. That's good, that's good, that's good. Can I actually ask a serious question though? Yeah. To any, well, to all of you here, what, you would, you, what would you, you do? You made your putt about two foot longer. <laughs> no, what do you mean? <laughs> you, you aim it at something, so you You've got to put it in, yeah. The no, bunker. what you, what Yeah, you, but then it's there like that, it's where I was. Yeah, but what yeah. I'm saying is you have to have a vantage point for that, so you pick a tree or you pick uh, that side. No, Otherwise, it could be anywhere, couldn't it? No, you just put it up against the tee like I did. So, yeah, but what, what I'm, what I'm yeah, saying but what is, what would you do in the tournament? You wouldn't put a ball. You wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't do that. Yeah, but, you wouldn't, <laughs> but, can we get a rolling? Like Max said, if you put it up against the tee and then put it there. Yeah, but I wouldn't do that, would I? Because I'm, I'm not a cheat. I'm just yeah, like you've that. Got pick, you've got to pick something in the distance to lay it up against. Oh, I would have done yeah. this. Yeah, what would, I would have just what put would like, people do? Like line up with the putter heads. Yeah. And put it the other side. And then just put it the other side. Like most normal people. Oh yeah, that's good. That's a. That's yeah. a, that's a better so you went from a three footer to a five footer. No, no, I haven't though. No, because that's exactly. <laughs> no, that's, I think that looks about right. I'll right. finish that off. Yeah. To the half. <laughs> and he's, he's good with the flat stick as well. <laughs> All square. A hey, yes. The original ball would have gone in. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Come on. Miss that? This is liquid golf. Tell you what, look at the size of that bird. 
absolute monster. That's a monster, yeah. What is it, an eagle? What is it? Either a big buzzard or... Wow. Let's like see if I can get it. Go yeah, get it, go. See if you can really test your camera skills. And I've see got it. Oh my God. Go on. Nature. Nature. Okay, right, I've got the honour. I've got <laughs> yeah. the six on in my hand. It's all square. It's all square. A dash S. Okay. Send it. There's, there's, a, there's a literal eagle in the fairway. Oh, it's a bit too right. Sit down. Absolutely fine, mate. Absolutely oh, yeah, fine. fine. Ooh, slappy. Was slappy, wasn't it? But it was. Is works. it all right? Yeah, it's fine. It that. works. Very slappy. One thirty and nine iron. That's absolutely horrendous. Please stop. Oh, that's not good, boys and girls. Not good. Okay. Advantage, Mr. Fosh. Right. Advantage, put it dance floor, couple of feet. It sounded nice, I've lost it in the sun. Oh, where's that gone, Ange? It's just to the just left, left of the edge, green. mate. This is big, this. Commit. Commit. Oh, no, that's... It's finished all right. Yeah. That's... Oh, stay. Yeah, nice. <sighs> Needs to be better. Max is in a good position. This, I said to you at the start of the video, the best part of my game is putting. I've been absolute pony Yaboa. This is awful. <laughs> Played well apart from the putting. Oh, I need to finish that. <laughs> so I need to sink this. And so what are you there for? This is this is in for five. Right, That's yeah, you need to sink this. Four. If this get if this doesn't get sunk, you're one up. Now oh, that's absolutely. I'm I'm useless. Max Fosh is one up. So if I put this close, it's it's closing that door firmly in Pete's face. So six iron, 160 yards, although that's a bit too much club for that, but that water's scaring me. Take a little bit off, just try and fade it in off the water to put it close. No, that's terrible, just laying up. I mean, that literally is a layup. That's, that's so disappointing, look, look, at, <laughs> look at the tee. <laughs> and look at my divot. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolute. That is that's impressive. That is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Right, he's Golf. back in it. <laughs> Golf. Oh no, Jesus! <laughs> Pretty get lucky there. Oh, oh it's dropped. he has. Is there water down there? No. But I guess I'm still absolutely <laughs> myself. Every time I see water, I mean, I couldn't have gone any further left if I tried. <laughs> Sandwich in hand. Let's just let's get this. Let's get this airborne. Good strike. Hold up. Good strike. Great Max. shot, Max. Max. There we go. Great shot. Great shot, pal. That's great. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh 
Wow. Oh, yes. Scrap, mate. Come on, the golf. Come on. I see it as a straight putt. Clean the putter. This is a pirouette. We are literally <laughs> business end. Right, you're going left edge, I think. Hit it. No. Putting has been well off. Nothing from Max. This, to take it to Dormy 2. He's done, he's done it! He's done it! Dormy 2. Well played, sir. Dormy 2, he cannot lose. I, on the other hand, probably will. Max, as well as being a YouTube big dog, uh, you're also a bit of a stand-up comedian. Yeah, give it a go. Talk to me about it. Like, what, what, what's the uh, what's the act about, and how do you get your material? So, um, um, <laughs> the act is basically a glorified PowerPoint presentation. Right. I've got the got the got the screen behind me, and it's it's kind of storytelling of, of things that happened in videos and and other other bits and bobs. So, like things I, I did a bit where I wore a, a secret microphone to one of my mum's very posh drinks parties and just right. recorded the conversations that people would ask me about YouTube and do you make any money? It was fantastic. Um, <laughs> And so that, that that always did well, but it's uh, I love it because it's a much more immediate form of kind of entertainment and, and humour than than online. Because you're yeah. like if you make a video, people are always very very generous with their with their positivity in the comments. But you never know what that is like. Uh, but you never really know how people really feel until they're sat in front of you, and you've got to try and make them laugh. Um, but it's it's a. Uh, it's a great experience and one you just have to work super, super hard at. Like Rob Beckett talks about like with, with comedy, like it's like any other job where, you know, you start a new job Monday to Friday, the first day you, you go into work at 9am, don't really know what you're doing, but by Friday at the end of the week, yeah, you know everyone, you know what your job is. Stand-up comedy is exactly the same, but you're just at work five minutes at a time. So it takes a long, long time to get comfortable on stage and for you to feel like you, you know what you're doing. And so I've, I've put in some hours, did a, did a tour last year, did the Edinburgh Fringe where you perform every day for course, 30 yeah. days, did the Palladium, um, which was just an incredible like moment. So I, I grew up watching Jack D, um, his special at the Palladium yeah, yeah. Uh, a number of years ago and I was like oh, I want to perform there so performing at the Palladium was awesome and looking to go on tour next year to hopefully the US you know, wow. like Australia Northern Europe the rest, yeah. of, the rest of the UK is it nerve wracking? oh it's terrifying it's absolutely terrifying but it go, that, that's all before you go on stage like when you go on stage it's always just yeah. very very relaxed and if you when you in the first five minutes you can tell and sometimes it's like hard work and you get smiler crowds where people just go so is that see that's why i always because i always get embarrassed with stuff like that if like pe someone's doing an act and people aren't like, what you, if you're actually doing that act and people yeah. are just go <laughs> are you like oh come on just try and just bring, mean, bring out the, the best joke you got or yeah it, well no you've got to you've got to stick to the routine like you've always got to pretend like you are in total control right. of the of the set because audiences the the moment you turn you get an audience to like really like record is when they feel like you're not in control yeah because then they're 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 nervous for you because everyone's on your side everyone's there to have a laugh yeah so if you can go on stage and pretend like you're totally in control uh you know what you're doing then all this is really relaxed into it and they laugh more but um every comedian when you start out you make the same error which is saying that oh that wasn't funny like sometimes you're like oh obviously that one didn't that one didn't land it's yeah, the yeah. worst thing you can say because audiences then realize that you yourself yeah, are struggling ad admitting you're that, admitting yeah. it so you've, yeah. you've got to pretend that it, and they, they talk about this with like all gigs at live at the apollo they say, no matter how well it's going, pretend it's the best gig of your life. Because yeah. in, on the telly, they can add canned laughter if it's going terribly or whatever. So it's all about your, like, how you present the uh, the gig is going to the crowd. And you mentioned Jack D there. Is he your comedy hero? Is yeah, he he's, he's up there. Yeah. Jack D, Eddie Izzard, uh, Bo Burnham, someone who's kind of gone from, from YouTube over to, to the mainstream comedy. Um, there's, a, there's a comedian called Josie Lawrence who was part of something yes. called the Comedy Store Players. Yes, yes. I would go there when I was 18. I, that was one of the first things I did when I turned 18 was go to the comedy store and just on a Sunday night and yeah. Wednesday night, the comedy store plays improv, Paul Merton, Richard Branch, just these guys were just, they were so good at what they do. And that's kind of where I got kind of bugged for, for performing stand up. So you know, a big tour coming next year? Hopefully, say. we yeah. haven't planned it, but, but end of next year, we'll, we'll, we'll need to shift some tickets. Love so, that. All right, well, we'll help with that on Instagram and stuff. <laughs> well, not that you need help because you've got quite a big following, but we will help. Uh, this is a shot hole. Right, Dormy, Dormy two. 2. This could be a good night, Vienna, but I've loved it.
Right, let's go. Stay there. Oh, he's... Oh, I've... Hang on. Hang I on. am right up against that tree. Oh, when I needed it most. When I needed it most. <laughs> what's, those, what's those poses? <laughs> Get the acorn out. Get the acorn, <laughs> Pistachio Pete. Je suis dans un petit peu de trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, do you know what, you, you genuinely, you only live once, so I, I could try and cut this around the corner. It's not the sensible shot, but if it goes wrong, it will cannon off the tree into my shin, it'll be very funny. Or in, my face. Or in Scott's face, <laughs> even funnier. <laughs> right, there we go. Can you stop rolling please? Oh, flipping. <laughs> it's gone back. <laughs> nice layup. It's gone backwards. That's impressive. <laughs> Where did that hit? <laughs> God, that was close. <laughs> Life flashed before my eyes. Can't wait to the skull dock. <laughs> 100 and... 65 yards probably up the hill. Quite a big shot this. Gotta give it some beans. Of the Heinz 57 variety. Max. Oh, I've given it too many. Too many beans. Too many. Club face, keep it open. Oh no, that's... It's, it's, oh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a tough shot up that hill. I'm here for three, but three net two. Pete's down there for two, so as we lie at the moment, uh, it's downhill, so this is just flopsy-wopsy and then just get it to, to trickle down that hill. Um, just need to land it just out of this long rough, long rough. And it should. It's going to be difficult to slow down. Go. Oh, that was what, that was what I was trying to do, but I thought it was going to kick on. Obviously not. Oh, it's it's gravy. Yeah, nine feet, very nice from there. Come on. Go up it. Come on. Oh, it's gone back. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh. I've still got a tricky one in for six. And do you know what, P? What I'm going to do? I'm going to finish this off because I want to see you win this hole through your putting. <laughs> in for seven net six. <laughs> right, okay, so seven net six. You're here for three. So you've got you've got two for it. Still gotta put it in. Two for it to go. Well, draw me one. <laughs> Chuckle Brothers. Oh, oh. I'd like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Pauline Fowler, there we go. Okay, <laughs> back to <laughs> one. <laughs> there, there's your, there, we've got each other's clubs. <laughs> God, we got up and go. <laughs> the only life we know. Go fly when you get it in the hole. <laughs> we are on the last. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the last eight holes with Mr. Max Fosh. He's one up and one hole to play, no shots.
No shots. Good luck, sir. Pete's got the Castle Tea Club going. Absolutely. Light the candle! Oh, zing zinger. Oh. That's bunker, isn't it? That is bunks. Uh, I just need to get this short stuff. Short stuff and it's ad advantage. And there's a random man walking the wrong way there down the There is a random way. man walking. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Absolute. That's the, that's the, your drive of the day. I've absolutely, that's, that's, yeah, hit that yeah. very hard. That's fantastic. Come on. That's it. Okay. It's final hole. Second shot. Yeah. Pete's playing with the sand. Now I'm in the short stuff. I just need to get this relatively close. It's a par five, so I don't need to try and hit the absolute hinges off this, but it would be helpful if I just got it up there. Max, that's absolutely fantastic, Bit mate. Like that. Brilliant golf shot. Brilliant, brilliant yeah. shot. Happy. happy right, that's happy, made happy. my decision. Get a bit underneath it. I've got to win the hole. Oh. Oh. Good job you brought that other club with you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh no, that was going some as well. Oh, that's the end. <laughs> oh, such a shame. Oh, such a shame. All right, so pitching wedge out the sand. Still got half a chance. Well, a quarter of a chance. No, probably a fifth of a chance. <laughs> Actually, no chance. <laughs> oh, I'm out. I'm out. <sighs> Five wood. All I've got. Oh, Pete! Oh, In the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to oh, our no. <laughs> Today's episode is we're talking bunkers. How you can find every single bunker on the <laughs> hole. Tight lie, sand wedge. Just hope I don't thin it and blade it straight to Ange. So Ange might be on catching duty here. But I don't think he will be. That's it. Oh, God. Tell you, you've played this hole unbelievably well. Yeah, yeah nice, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fifth shot, got to go in. but Max is the deserved winner, especially after playing this hole like he has so far. Oh, I tell you what, that's a great shot. Okie dokie. Meanwhile, For he's a doing a bit of housework. Come on, Max. Come on, pal. Sink this. Get that bird. Sail off into the sunset. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's gone. And I'm now, now I'm struggling for my par. That's terrible. That's terrible. Come on, mate. Yo! Oh! <laughs> the 360 lip! <laughs> <laughs> Just had to be sure. <laughs> Mr. Max Fosh. Thank you so, so much, mate. Much, Unbelievable really. game. Really, Great really game. enjoyed it. Unbelievable. We need a little rematch soon because that was superb. Big and Legend. Unbelievable. Thanks for coming on, mate. Thanks, buddy. If really you're not aware of the channel, which you probably are, Max's YouTube channel, please check it out. It's absolutely brilliant. The link is down below. Unbelievable. Thanks again, mate. Legend. Nice Pleasure. Thanks, Fox mate. Hills, thanks so much. Please like, subscribe. That was Golf Life. Do it. Life. Do it.